Hi, everyone. Welcome to Abbey Research Reads. I am Dr. Kristen, and I'd like to talk to you very briefly, to be honest, because I could go on forever or a short amount of time. We're going to choose short today <laughs> about the book She Said by Jody Kantner and Megan Tui. These two women are the women that worked to kind of break the Harvey Weinstein story for the New York Times. You may have heard of Ronan Farrow's work in the New Yorker. I'm gonna be reading that book next, which is called Catch and Kill. This is an, in particular um, a book about these two women and how they worked and um, kind of all the barriers. I was gripped. It's an incredibly well-written story by two incredibly, you know, obviously seasoned journalists, winners of the Pulitzer Prize, et cetera, et cetera. What I appreciated the most about this particular book was the methodical way they talked about the balance of honoring victims and survivors of abuse, but also getting the story out there. And what is the balance between ethics and urgency and ethics and protection and um, kind of all of that mess. Uh, I'm really grateful for every woman who went on the record both at the time and since so they could tell a fuller story with some more documents and, and things as such. I was driven to empathy for a lot of uh, Weinstein Company employees who, for any number of reasons, were not aware of the depth of Harvey's bullying, but also their kind of quiet awakening that workplace harassment, whether or not it's sexual, is inappropriate, and how do they then do a reckoning for 20 years of company culture and all of this kind of thing. It's a very fact-based, this is what happened, and this is what happened, and this is what happened. The only emotions that they really introduce are either ones that are expressed by the interviewees themselves or ones that they felt. So, and sometimes it feels a little bit cold. It feels a little bit clinical, but because this is such a highly emotive story, and a lot of us come to the story with quite a few emotions, there was a way in which that was quite, quite nice. It's a fast read. I read it in a couple hours, to be honest, if that I had set aside because it was so gripping. And you know how it's going to end. But watching the process of how they got to Harvey arrested and now, um, I believe, behind bars, what that looks like and how that works. They also spend a bit of time because they are also the people that worked with Dr. Blasey Ford um, to break her story during her testimony against uh, Justice Kavanaugh. Uh, and that was also a very, very different process than the women who had been kind of on the record about Harvey for a really long time. And what is what is what is that process? They also are very honest about how they're not sure if Me Too is going to settle into itself. Um, you know, they bring up the Aziz Ansari issue where it really just sounds like a guy was an idiot and then a girl had a blog and, you know, went after him and how that is different than Harvey Weinstein. And But where does Brett Kavanaugh fall, Justice Kavanaugh fall, and kind of what does that look like? They, they are very clear that this is still very messy and still very fresh which I think considering that women were not listened to or respected for the majority of human history that we're just starting to solve these problems means that it's gonna be a little messy for a little while, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't still try to figure it out. So like I said, this book, she said, um, the very kind of tour de force story of the two journalists and the journalistic perspectives for the New York Times and how they broke the Harvey Weinstein story. Um, and I will be back soon, I'm sure, to talk about Ronan Farrow's version as he worked for a magazine, and I, which is The New Yorker, which I would also imagine has a bit of a different, not necessarily ethic policy, but procedure policy and how things are checked and the, and the issue of urgency is different. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. This is highly recommended, guys. Really, really highly recommended. Um, and I hope you pick it up. And if you do, tell me what you think about it. That's all for now. Bye.